This investigative programme contains graphic descriptions of violence and themes of loss and distress, which some viewers may find upsetting. A weekend break and a savage attack. I've never, ever seen such a horrific thing in all my days. 18-year-old Connor Marshall is left for dead. I, I just remember not even recognising who it was. Um, and just thinking, that's not Connor. How did a quiet resort become the scene for such violence? It was very shocking to think that this could have happened in Porth Court. Was Connor a random victim? I knew Connor wasn't the one to start a fight. Or targeted by a killer? What could have happened that could have led to those kind of injuries? I'm on my way to Porth Court, South Wales a seaside town with beaches, arcades and fairground rides, where thousands of people flock to enjoy the holiday vibe every summer. I remember the first time I went to the seaside. It was such a special moment. It brings back happy memories. But for one family, happy times became desperate times. And they'll always associate this resort with tragedy. It was here that Connor Marshall was subjected to the most brutal attack. It was March 8th, 2015, when Connor was discovered savagely beaten and lying unconscious in this holiday park. What could have led to such an attack and who was behind it? My investigation starts in Barry, another seaside town, 25 miles east of the Port of Call. It was here where Connor lived and where his parents have agreed to meet me. I want to learn from them what kind of teenager Connor was. Hi, Nadine. Hi, Richard. I really want to know more about Connor, like what he was like as a child. He was the first child for us, big brother to Jack and to Georgia. He had a real little personality very early on, and the sense of humour came through, didn't it? Yeah, always a big grin on his face. Yeah. How did his um, personality start to develop as he got to a teenager? He was really particular about his own quirky style and regardless of what I thought, what anybody, it was just, no, he would do his thing. What kind of things did he like doing? Outdoorish, but not getting dirty. <laughs> if he was involved in mud and things, then he'd a bit, you know? <laughs> when he was younger, he didn't like to get his hands dirty and things like that. Yeah. I mean, he had, he had his man bag and it was a standard joke. You opened his man bag and there was a comb in there. <laughs> yeah, I can see how your face lights up as you speak about him. How did you find out what happened? It was 7.22 in the morning and the door went. I opened the door and Richard came down the stairs and the two policemen just asked if we were Connor Marshall's parents. Right. And we said yes. And they just said that there'd been an incident and that we needed to get to the, the hospital oh, as quickly as possible. And it really was like one of those moments where you just your world comes crashing in. They couldn't tell us anymore. We were like, well, what's happened? What did you think had happened? We thought maybe there'd been some sort of into a fight or something. I'm just thinking, oh, maybe they've gone into trouble, they've got drunk. But who's they? Connor kind of gone with his friend, Dan, to Porth Call for the weekend, and there's a great big caravan site there. Has Connor been away before? Not, Not on his own. No. This was his first grown-up holiday. He was buzzing. He was really excited. The caravan site Connor had gone to is separated from the town centre by the beach. I want to see what the area is like. This is Truco Bay. It's massive, with hundreds of caravans for families to stay in. It seems like the ideal spot for families. It's so peaceful. It just doesn't make any sense. I can totally see why Nadine and Richard would have been happy for Connor to come out here because there's nothing here that would be a cause of a cause of concern. What could have possibly happened here that night? And who could possibly have left Connor for dead? His friends and family tell me he was a lively, outgoing, and popular teenager. Connor's character was unlike any others. And he was funny, he was charming, he was cheeky as well, which everyone loved about him. I always remembered Connor with his friends, was just popular. Like, there would always be different friends over. First thing he wanted to do as soon as he was able to drive was get a moped 
and that was his pride and joy. I think he had an amazing sense of fashion, which set him apart completely. He used to wear these vibrant shirts. So yeah, in everything that he did, he was always confident. His attitude, his persona, um, his way of life, really.